How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studios here in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. We are, we are thrilled today to be joined by uh, the great pianist and drummer and rock and roll star, Yoshiki. Uh, Yoshiki, thank you so much for coming to Pace today and playing for us. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you for uh, finding the microphone. <laughs> um, so uh, what I wanted to start out by saying uh, is very important news. Yesterday, uh, Yoshiki donated... One hundred thousand uh, dollars for immediate relief uh, of hurricane victims here in the United States and its territories. Uh, he made that donation uh, through the Yoshiki Foundation of America, and the money was to uh, Music Cares, which is the program run by the Recording Academy. And uh, we really encourage all of our our readers and our viewers to contribute to the effort and join Yoshiki in his effort uh, and in the. In the post of this uh, of this session, we have included a link, and we really encourage all of our viewers to go to Music Cares and please donate to help the victims of, of the various hurricanes that have that have afflicted America in the last few weeks. Uh, and thank you for that. Um, but I also want to get to some music. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here playing our beautiful piano. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the first song that you're going to perform for us today? Well, I've been wondering which song I should be playing. But um, since, you know, I'm trying to support America, I mean, the reason I also donated money is, you know, when we had an earthquake in Japan 2011, um, tsunami and earthquake, big earthquake, um, you know, people in America really supported us. So I wanted to kind of give them back, then try to support America as well. Also, I live in America. In so California, right? California, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, mean, tr I travel a lot, but... Yes, so I want to keep supporting as much as I can. So maybe I should be playing the um, Star Spangled Banner. That would be wonderful. You know, uh, the um, I played uh, Carnegie Hall this year. Uh, it was one of my dream. You know, so people say American dream. You know, American dream is not only for people from America. So, like me coming from Japan. So, so America gave me a chance to pursue that dream. So maybe I should be playing this song. That'd be great. We'll Thank you. I recently had a neck surgery, so maybe I, I need to wear a neck brace when I play. <laughs> so okay, well, I'll ask you about that a little bit later. Take you know, take off and then put it in. So just give me like a few minutes.
Thank you, Yoshiki. That was beautiful. Thank you. Um, so you are you have a lot going on right now. Uh, you and your your a wonderful band, X Japan, uh, one of the biggest rock bands of the last you know twenty five years. Uh, you are working on. You're just finishing uh, the recording of your first new album in about twenty years, twenty one years. <laughs> twenty uh, twenty one years. Twenty one years. <laughs> That's very very exciting. Uh, and also, there was a a film a documentary that came out last year called We Are X, a wonderful documentary. Uh, and the that is getting a theatrical release in Europe very soon. And also the soundtrack is being released on vinyl. Uh, I think the movie is also coming out on DVD. There's a lot, a lot happening these days. Um, but really, what I wanted to ask you about really was was X Japan. Um, it's been so many years since we've heard uh, new music from this great band, um, and I'm wondering with this record almost complete, um, the music on it. Uh, how long have those songs been in the works, and and you know how long have you been uh, working to put this record out into the world? Yes, first of all, you know, you're gonna be uh, releasing the album, well, 21 years, first album in 21 years. Uh, but you know, we had 10 years kind of break, you know, uh, you know, we, our band got, uh, you know, disbanded, mm -hmm. then reunited about 10 years ago or so. So then, you know, it's a lot of story, you know, when you see the film, like, you know, uh, my guitar player died, um, vocalist got brainwashed, but now, you know, of course, Hide is not here, but um, yeah. mentally here, and then Toshi and I have been working, uh, this is all part of his, you know, member of working. Some of the songs I wrote, I would say almost 10 years ago or so, even, even longer, I wrote some of the songs while we are not doing anything. Some of the songs I wrote, recently, you know, but all the, all the recordings done, just pretty much just you have to mix, you know. I just did the orchestra session for this X Japan album mm -hmm. about a month ago in Los Angeles. That was pr pretty much the final stage. You know, I, I record vocal, drum, guitar, everything, and then I put the orchestra at the end. So we'll see, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, we are about to, also we do have some you know, uh, f uh, guest featuring guest, you know, I can't review their name yet, but <laughs> we have a few amazing artists, you know, uh, participating in this uh, upcoming album as well. So. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, so I know, uh, you know, in, in, in recent times, uh, you did have, you had surgery on your neck, and you've also had some, uh, some problems with your, your hands uh, and your arms, which I think maybe related to the same issue, is that right, in your, in your spine? I think the my neck problem, um, uh, you know, coming from the drumming. Yeah. But the um, yeah, my right hand coming from drumming. My left hand problem coming from the piano. piano. From the piano. <laughs> yeah. Well, people, you know, people tuning in who might not know, uh, Yoshiki is not just a, a wonderful piano player, but also one of the great rock and roll drummers uh, of his generation. And I know that you are a very intense player of the drums, and it has caused you some real physical pain. Uh, you know what I was what I was wondering is for for a band like X Japan, for an artist like yourself, you have endured so much. Um, you know, the death of Hide, your guitar player, uh, and, uh, you know, surgery, and some some, some tragic uh, deaths in your own family. Um, do you get the sense that these challenges in your life are what makes your music what it is? Are they, are they linked in that way? I guess so. I mean, you know, it's a... Uh kind of a trade-off, yeah. I don't know. It's like uh, sometimes art came from the pain, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I was only playing classical music until my father took his own life, you know? It's like, then I started doing, I found out about, about rock. So, but since then I've been doing both of them at the same time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and do you feel, you know, now that this record is almost out and it's finally gonna be out in the world after all these many years, uh, is it is it almost bittersweet for you to to let go of something that you have spent so much time and so much personal, uh, so much emotion on? You know, when it finally comes out, how does that how does that infect you? I don't know. I've been I've been haunted by this album like past at least ten years. You yeah. know, every time I talk to people, like, how's your new album coming? I was like, I don't want to hear that anymore. <laughs> like, just you know, I need to really finish it. It's like, um, no matter what I'm doing, I'm always thinking about the album, like, yeah, so most yeah. drawing me nuts. 
<laughs> well, we're all very excited to hear it. Um, but you know, it's very confident. It's like the last 21 years ago, basically, I released an album called Dalia, yeah, uh, Japan. You know, it's a pretty good album. But when we are doing promotional tour about this, I was like, well, "How's your new album?" It's like, it's okay. You know, I was not really excited to promote that. But this one, if, even though we have not finished that one yet, but it's gonna be the best album we've ever made. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, again, we're, we're so excited to hear it. Um, and uh, right now I'm curious about, you're gonna play another song for us today here at the piano. Uh, what song is that gonna be? I'm still debating, right? The first one, okay. Second one, um, usually this kind of situation I should play like a song called like Forever Love. It's like a Japan signature song, but that's coming from the um, um, old album. So maybe I should play something from the new album. We would love to hear something from the new album. Um, yeah, people may know this song, you know, it's, uh, it's a song called Hero. Mm -hmm. um, it's about, you know, of course, there's no, uh, you, know, you know, we are not singing today, so you don't s hear the lyrics, but it's about the suicide. But, um, but you know, then when you read the lyri lyrics, the beginning was very dark, but, you know, somebody's going to survive through, through that, from the su suicidal thoughts something like this yeah uh, maybe i should i've never played with this uh piano alone you know usually i have singer or string something like this maybe spontaneously just let's do it could be some kind of improvisation but we'll see yeah it's the first time for everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't think about till i could get to the studio today but you know okay song called hero
Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so uh, we talked about the album, uh, which is coming out sometime next year. Um, and what I what I'm wondering, I think what a lot of your fans might be wondering, is now with this new music out, um, with everything that you have gone through in the past few years, uh, physically and emotionally, um, will there will there be many live performances to follow? Are you are you able to do play the way that you have played so brilliantly in the past? Um, okay, you know, so as you know, so I had a neck surgery yeah. a, f- about four months ago. Um, you know, I put a new artificial disc. So, you know, I started playing piano again. So not 100% recovered. I mean, it's going to take maybe years for mm-hmm. me to get recovered. Uh, as of now, I touched the drums just a little bit, but I'm really scared that I, I don't think I'm going to be able to play the way I used to in terms of like headbanging. Yeah. Like I was playing pretty much There's No Tomorrow. Right. And was that, that was probably the cause of what of everything yeah yes the headbanging yes yeah but um so doctor told me not to play drums anymore but you know that's my life so i think i'm gonna be playing i mean pretty sure drums again but i need to find a way to play drums as hard as i can you know i can but not to try not to hurt myself because you know also my vertebrae so i did a surgery between uh c5 and c6 you know those vertebrae uh, but my discs between three and four, four and five are also, you know, almost like really damaged. Yeah. So uh, doctor said, if you play drums, I have to do another surgery. Like I already did two, two surgeries, you know, <laughs> like it passed several years. I mean, several years ago, I also cut my back, back of my neck. And then so this, this time I cut front of my neck and put the disc. So I really don't want to do surgery. But if I have to choose between surgery and drums, maybe I would choose drums <laughs> yeah would you be able if you did choose drums uh is that something that the surgery would be able to fix and you'd recover or this is something that maybe you will have to think about for the rest of your career i think it's not going to be able to fix 100 percent because you know the surgery i just had you know i mean i almost have no feeling those two fingers right you know still i mean it's coming back a little bit but you know also taking a bunch of medication too mm-hmm. so I don't think it's going to be back 100%, but, you know, technology is always, you know, improving. So yeah. you see, like, <laughs> yeah, because my the, the surgery I just did, like, you know, so t- 10, 15 years ago, there's no surgery like that, you know, putting artificial discs. So my disc is kind of movable, you know, like a uh, metal. So we'll see. Maybe by the time I need to do another surgery, there may be some new technology. <laughs> right, save you completely, yeah. yeah. And in terms of, uh, you know, if not drums, is the piano something that you would play more and more, more classical, even rock on the on the piano, or you really do? Is, is drums, what is your first What is your first instrument? What is the one you really love the most? I started playing piano when I was four years old, and then started playing drums when I was 10. Mm-hmm. Also, I used to play trumpet too for five years, and I played guitar, I played violin a little bit. Um, but I don't know, I love both piano and drums, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's hard to choose. But. And I think the way that you play the piano is also probably very uh, taxing physically on your body. You know, it's an intense, you put everything into your piano playing as much as your drumming. Yeah, it depends on the song, but you know, some songs are pretty heavy. Like last time I was here, I played a song called Out of Life on the piano. That piano is really intense, so um, yeah. Sometimes it's even more than, you know, the, the performance hurts my body more than drums, you know. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Well, I hope that you're comfortable right now. I'm very comfortable. I'm, <laughs> you know, maybe I can play another song, maybe, you know, whatever. We, we would certainly love for you to play another song, whichever song you would like to play. You, let, you, you tell us. Um, I don't know. Like, um, are you guys getting a lot of, like, uh, comment in the internet? Oh, uh, we are getting... <laughs> A lot of comments, but really? you know those comments are. I'm trying to see if there are requests. Mostly, <laughs> it's just people sending love. Really? Yes. I'm many, so many people sending their love and uh, and thanking you for for sharing your music and asking you please to take care of yourself. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sure they would all love to hear to hear one more, but I won't put okay. any pressure on you. Okay, I'm gonna play um, maybe Forever Love, uh, the ex Japan song. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, okay. 
I mean, you know, uh, I went through all those surgery and everything, but um, you know, um, that I, I think like um, physical pain is nothing compared to the um, like mental pain I went through. You know, losing my band members' father. Uh, you know, I also almost lost a vocalist. You know, yeah. Um, but he came back. So, but throughout those time, like my fans really supported me. So, you know, I think I exist because of my fans. So, well, many of them here are, are watching now, and uh, and they and they de they definitely love you very much. And you know, they would love to hear another song. I'm sure. Okay, so this this is a for, song for my fans. You know, great. Okay, forever love. Yoshiki, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's been our pleasure. Um, there is so much to, to talk about, which we have, but I'm going to recap. Uh, the first X Japan album in 21 years. Uh, you guys have recently finished recording, I think, and are just sort of putting finishing touches on uh, for a release sometime next year. That's very exciting. Um, also, uh, the, the documentary We Are X, the soundtrack for that, has just been released on vinyl. And uh, that movie will get a theatrical release in Europe and maybe in America too at some point, I hope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had the uh, theatrical release in, in America. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, I started in America first. That was like uh, almost a year ago. I remember, I remember it came out at festivals. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I wasn't sure whether it had been in 
theaters, but I know that right. It started out. It started out here in America at, at festivals, and finally in Europe now they can go to a movie theater and watch it on the big screen, which is where you should see it to see Yoshiki in all of his glory. <laughs> Uh, and so the, 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 the soundtrack to that movie uh, is now out on uh, vinyl, and everyone can buy that. And perhaps most important, uh, Yoshiki has uh, just yesterday uh, donated $100,000 uh, for hurricane relief here in the United States through his Yoshiki Foundation of America, and that donation was uh, given to the Music Cares program, which is the program run by the Recording Academy. All of the music goes straight to victims um, as part of Music Cares, and to help Yoshiki and to help uh, the victims of these hurricanes, we have included a link in this Facebook post, and we we encourage our readers and our viewers to go to that link and please help, and uh, and and help Americans who are struggling through terrible times right now. Um, but in the meantime, we want to thank you so much uh, for coming and, and playing here at our studio for us uh, these beautiful songs, and we very much look forward to the new album coming out. Uh, so thank you for joining us again. Well, thank you so much for having me. So I'm going straight to Europe. Actually, I'm I, I got to uh, New York yesterday, but I'm leaving for Berlin mm -hmm. tonight. So, so tell me what is uh, what is on the what is on your schedule now? What are you doing between now and the release of the new record? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so this year it's uh, alone. I'm gonna be traveling. I don't know, 13, 14 countries. Yeah, but next few weeks I'm gonna be in Europe. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go to Berlin. Um, London, Paris, and uh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Am I going to Switzerland? No, no. Oh, Sweden. Sorry, I didn't go to Sweden. Sorry. Did I go to Spain? No? Oh, oh no, no, this time. Okay. Italy, uh, Norway. And what are the, in these countries, uh, these performances? Or are you uh, uh, promoting the album? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be opening the, the you know, um, uh, theaters in the countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be doing the uh, Q&A and in, in appearance. I see. Um, Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. I'm going to try to sleep in the ice hotel. In the uh, ice hotel? I don't know. I'm just joking. But, <laughs> but I've, I've heard of that. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking forward to it. Because, you know, when I do uh, intense drumming or uh -huh. intense piano, piano so uh, right after the concert, I usually icing my, you know, uh, body. Like mm -hmm. sometimes neck, sometimes wrist, sometimes entire body. I even put my, how do you say, that there's a ice bath tub. Right. Yeah. Right. So I mean, after to playing Tokyo Dome show uh, or some stadium show, I had, uh, my doctor put me to the ice tub. I was screaming. But going to <laughs> Iceland, my perfect thing. Yeah. Right. Iceland. <laughs> right. You can just jump into any lake or river and and have the same. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, um, yeah. Well, best of luck uh, on your, on your travels. Too, by the way. Yeah. I'm going to Amsterdam. Yeah. On Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, well, all you know. Congratulations on the record and uh, have a great tour. Um, and thank you again for not just playing for us today, but helping us to raise money uh, for people who very much need it right now. Uh, and so I, I mentioned to our to our viewers, please go to the link that we've included in this post and uh, help us and help Yoshiki and help the victims of these hurricanes who are in who are in dire straits and really and really could use the help. Yeah, I'm really praying for the in you know, a fast recovery for those places hit by the hurricane. Yeah, yes. the, yes. several of them. Yes. Um, so thank you again. And, uh, you know, for coming and playing at Paste. And uh, please come back and join us and play for us again anytime you like. I'd love to. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>